Hello, it is September 14th, 2016, and I want to just bring you this Piney News update. The buses in Suffolk County are getting really bad. Uh, the breakdowns, uh, at least at the EBT, but also I believe all across the system, are really rising because of the funding cuts uh, by Steve Ballone. These funding cuts don't only affect the, you know, the fact that we're going to have routes eliminated and service cut, but it also affects maintenance. Just like at Nice Bus, now Suffolk County is having a lot of breakdowns. So yesterday I was out in uh, Suffolk County, actually Deer Park, and I was uh, catching the S33 420 around, uh, you know, Comac Road in Deer Park. And I was waiting there, and of course this bus is always late. So it didn't show up until like a quarter to five, and it was jammed. And so people told me that two, there were some students from Suffolk Community College on there, that two S33s, two of them, that would be the uh, 205 and the 235 S33 departures from Hot Park, broke down, and they did not replace those buses. Uh, absolutely despicable. Um, so check this out. Two buses broke down? So the, the bus before this one, which is an hour ago, broke down. And then the bus before it also broke down? Oh my god, that's why it's so crowded. Oh. See, Suffolk County is going downhill with transit. It's going to be overcrowded. I can see someone angry. I can't believe we're seeing this crap in Southern County, but yep, we are. And they want full fare. Really? Uh, what, they lose a driver along the way today? They're cutting maintenance. Hour and a half? Fucking late? That's, you want full fare? Come on, man. Call the county executive and tell them to stop cutting buses. And that's it. What an inconvenience to me. Call Steve Ballone. Bullshit, They don't give a fuck about what you got to do. Put another bus on the fucking They don't maintain anything. They don't maintain anything. Is that different for you? The 3 bus never came. The 330 bus never came. The 430 bus never came. Oh. Well, this is actually the 430 bus running late. This is bullshit. Two hours. They didn't even have a replacement bus. Oh, the nice bus broke down? Yeah, that's a nice bus broke down, the N70? Yeah? Broke down? Yeah, broke down. Hey, baby. Yeah, broke down like 10 after 3 to like 4. They're all breaking down out here because everybody's cutting funding for buses. So you could see people were really angry. Uh, you know, who can blame them? You know? At least in Suffolk, you know, Nassau, we know when there are breakdowns, nobody says anything. I remember that time I was waiting nine, waiting almost two hours for an N35 because three N35s broke down. That was a couple of years ago, and nobody said anything. But people in Suffolk are different. They speak up, and um, you know, props to them. I, I wanted to actually interview some of the people on the bus, but they didn't really want to, you know, go on camera. Um, but this is what's going on in Suffolk County because of Steve Ballone cutting the funding, they're cutting the maintenance. Um, I've been seeing a lot of buses with no destination signs. Similar stuff with NICE, no destination sign, because they're not being maintained properly again. It's the same thing all over again. Um, this is uh, despicable, and this is why the funding needs to be restored by the county for Suffolk County Transit. Steve Ballone needs to do it, and the legislature needs to do it, because the situation out there is despicable right now. And then we get to Nice Bus. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, I saw a Nice Bus with a horn stuck. Yeah, the horn was stuck on it. Uh, it pulled into Hicksville, and this little van came in and 
the guy um, basically turned off, disconnected the battery, and then somehow fixed it. So check that out. Oh, this is funny. The horn's stuck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No maintenance gets you. Oh, they got somebody to repair it. <laughs> this is funny. Let's watch him fix it. He shut the engine off. Disconnected the battery. Yeah, so that's basically what's going on in the public transit situation. And car free Long Island is coming up. So, with all this going on, we have the car free Long Island. So, uh, that is it for this party news. I just wanted to bring you those two things. Uh, the amount of breakdowns at NICE, I mean, a friend of mine took another video. I'm not going to put it up here, but took a video of 1800 breaking down. Uh, all the buses in Nassau and Suffolk are breaking down all over the place. This is unacceptable. And we need to restore the funding, but I think in the long term, it is cheaper and makes more sense to have regional bus. Andrew Cuomo needs to revisit the idea before he came in office. It was supposed to be regional bus. MTA was supposed to run Nassau, Suffolk, and Westchester. That's what's in the best interest for everybody. It, it, it's, the che it's the cheapest thing than having all these other different companies running everything. Have it all under the one umbrella, MTA. They have maintenance standards. They, they don't, they don't, things like this don't happen under MTA. They maintain their stuff, all right? And that's what needs to happen here. I think MTA does need to, in the long run, we need to bring back regional bus. But for now, we need to improve the funding situation. And yes, we need MTA to come back in Nassau, but I think MTA may also need to be taking over Suffolk as well. Um, the ridership is growing out there. Uh, maybe what, we, what can be worked out is that MTA can run the busiest routes in Suffolk, and then Suffolk County can run the smaller routes. That's something similar is done in um, Ocean County, where New Jersey Transit runs the busier routes, and Ocean Ride has the smaller routes something like that but MTA needs to come back to Nassau MTA needs to expand because they have maintenance standards uh, you know MTA would never send buses out with no air conditioning or, or broken destination signs that, that we need to bring MTA back to Long Island and I think it's in the best interest and Andrew Cuomo Ed Mangano and Steve Ballone they need to pay for what they've done um, you know they've done a lot of wrong uh, and they need to face the consequences uh, in court and so maybe serve some time because uh, this is just a crime what's happening here. Take it easy.